This episode of Blue Apron. On this episode of Blue Apron. Nothing but aprons. Testing, 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 testing. This is definitely staying in. Okay. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are healthy and safe and well. You see I have the hubs here today. I'm in a feature. <laughs> you are the special guest. <laughs> um, you know what I'm gonna say, if you guys are not already subscribed, pause this video and press subscribe down below. Along with that, hit the bell notifications link so you know when a new video is going live. Okay, today. We have officially embarked upon moving Cooper. Upon moving and packing and everything like that. So we thought it would be cool to do a video to just really like reminisce on all of the moments we've had together in this house, what we're gonna miss, what we're looking forward to and stuff like that. Um, along with that, today's video is sponsored by Blue Apron. Um, you guys have seen me post about them countless times before. So someone woke up from their nap, so we had to go get her. She's playing in my hair. She likes to pull on my wigs. Not knowing that they will come off if you pull too hard. Anyways, Blue Apron is amazing. Um, you guys have seen me post about them countless times. They basically provide meals for you that are already pre-portioned. Um, you can pretty much shop for the ones that you are in the mood for that specific week. Um, I like them because my husband and I are very, very routine. Um, and we tend to have the same meals over and over. So they provide, you know, the outlet for us to try something new and try something different um, as opposed to our same regular meals. Along with that, you know, I'm a mom now. So it's like, I just don't like shopping in the store anymore. Like, it's just stressful and, you know, are you okay? It's just stressful. Oh, baby, what's he got? Okay. Daddy wants you. Okay. Yeah, so shopping in a store is just really a lot. It takes up a lot of time and cooking has always relaxed me. Anybody, like my friends and family, I am the cooker. I like to host, I like to take care of people. Um, but the shopping in the store part is always the most annoying part. And even just with the pandemic, anything delivered is like my steez. Like that is what I love. So to be able to pick different meals and for us to try new things on a weekly basis is amazing. Um, and we are so excited to cook one of the meals with you guys. And also while doing that, reminisce on some of our favorite moments in this home. This is where Corey and I first got together. This was his almost bachelor pad until I came along. She ruined everything. And ended it because shut it down because <laughs> we're getting married. Um, but yeah, so he bought this house to be like, you know, his first home. He had no intentions of, well, you can tell them that. Yeah. Anyways, let's just get right into it. Without Baby girl, ado. you want to go with your mama? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so today we have three options of what to make. Um, I selected these meals online based off of what I was in the mood for. Sorry to you, but I picked them. Uh, we have pan seared chicken and mashed potatoes. We have seared steak, mushroom agrodos. Or we have chimichurri shrimp. Baby, which one do you want? It's on me. Yep. Step aside. Are you done? <laughs> so I'm playing cards. Akabaka, soda cracker, akabaka boo. In comes Uncle Sam, out goes Y-O. You! <laughs> 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 Babe, come on. <laughs> chicken. Okay. Hand seared chicken and mashed potatoes. Okay, please hold. We're gonna go get the ingredients. Also, I wanna note that they have all of the instructions right here. Be right back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the instructions are on the back. It makes it very, very easy for you to like follow along. And I wanna add that you can like make this like family, a family thing. So if you guys wanna like follow a, a recipe and have the kids cook with you or whatever, um, but they're very, very simple but amazing recipes. I also wanna add that when I met my husband, I knew that he wasn't a cook. 
him and all of his teammates always rave about his <laughs> gourmet <laughs> chef meal that he made every single day in college. I'm out there surviving. He made Velveeta and what, ground beef? Y'all see, I'm standing here right now, which means obviously Actually, we survived. We, I was the chef. That's all y'all need to know. His friend Isaiah, oh, I lost it. Good. Actually so good. tagged him yesterday mm -hmm. in a meal that he made, and it was Velveeta and ground beef. And he was like, oh, reminds me of Baylor days. Anyways, we long survived. story short, that's all he made. When I met him, there was one pot in his house. Sorry to eat. There was one pot in his house, and I think I was that was it. Anybody. Me being a cook, I was like, can't do that. I brought pots over here for when I was over here. All that good stuff. So, husband, we're gonna test your cooking skills today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what we got? All right, so first things first, um, you fill a pot with three fourths of the way of salted water. Salted water. Mm -hmm. Okay, I also want to add that, like I said, everything comes pre-portioned and they make it so easy for you to make whatever meal you do decide. So everything comes like with a name on it, with the specific meal that you, you know, requested. So here are the potatoes that my husband is going to dice. I've never seen him dice potatoes a day in my life. So this is going to be very interesting. Here you go. I'm, I'm assuming you should rinse them first. Not to be confused with eggs. <laughs> you should rinse them off, Chris. Oh. Okay. Why would someone ever confuse eggs with potatoes? You never seen a brown egg? Okay. <laughs> Point for Corey. <laughs> In the bag. All right. Are they getting rinsed or not? Are they getting rinsed or not? Is this not getting rinsed? Half. One more time. Do, do the half. Do the half. Wait, like this? Yep, and then do half. And then do it like. One. See? Harder. Or smarter, not harder. Huh? Okay. Let's see. We kind of want to reminisce like some of the good moments that we've had in the house. Um, I want to first start with my first memory. We had a date here one night, and this is when I like really got to know like, oh, he's not a Tatiana, you know? So he invited me over and was like, oh, you want to get some wine, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, I'm a red wine drinker. That's the treat, fellas. Don't, don't try to give him tips on, on my channel. He thinks he can write a book on how, whatever. Anyways. He was like, do you want to get wine? I was like, yeah, whatever. He was like, yeah, I typically drink dry red wine. I was like, oh, okay. I guess we can make this work. So he got the wine. You picked the wine, right? Yes, ma'am, I did. Yes, he picked the wine. And when I got here, he had like music playing. Mind you, I've always seen him in like a, babe, that looks creepy. <laughs> With the knife. Anyway, I'm done. Go ahead, continue. I was like, um... I had always seen him in like a hyped up environment, like out and stuff like that. So like, I didn't really like think that he like knew a chill. Get but he had like both. the right music. He had like D'Angelo, Erica Badu type music playing. And I was like, oh, we like the same type of chill music. So that was our first, our first like outing. And this is like when we like actually like talk about. You don't want us to do this video, do you? No. What was I saying? Okay, so long story short, he listened to good music and I was like, oh, he's not just, you know, for the streets. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll give it a second date. Wait, that was like the third date, right? That was third. Well, yeah. That was like the third-ish date because we went to pedicures first. Anyways, that happened here at the house. What's another memory you remember? Another memory, uh, I don't want to do the wedding right now. That's like top tier of our memories in this house. I don't know what other memories we have other than surviving mm -hmm. the pandemic here. 
Well, well, you came back again. We had some more wine tonight. We met Auntie and Kay. So, okay. She met my family here as well. Do you want to tell them, you know, that you have me meet your family? Oh, um, yeah, over more wine. So, the first wine night, I <laughs> called my aunt and was like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta meet. Well, no, I told her, yeah, you gotta meet Jaleesa. And everything I had is just, Jaleesa was sitting right here. So, I'll call her on FaceTime. And she think it's a setup. Like, I do this all the time for everybody. Oh, he because, probably had everybody know, talk to his aunt. I ain't falling for it. You never really know because, you know, people's families be going along. Ah, people's families be going along with stuff. So, you just have to make sure that it's not like a scam. Mm -hmm. And I think I've been through like a lot in my life. Thank you, Faith. I've been through a lot. So, I was like, oh. He's like, let's meet this friend. Let's do this. They're but probably yes. going along with his like. So whatever. I called my aunt and was like, you know, refilling this girl. She might be around for a little minute. I want you to meet her. So that happened here. And then the same night, my brother was flying into town. So instead of ending the date, I was like, you know what? You want to come it's, with me? It's still good vibes going on. You want to come with me to pick up my brother? So we did that. Went to go pick him up from the airport. Then, actually, that was like another date in one because then we went to go eat again. So, you know, just started off with good vibes. I think another memory I have that kind of just like, I don't know, because you guys know the timeline of things. So, I think just us being able to like be in a pandemic and like not be able to go outside and really enjoy each other's company. I think that's where we like really got to like, whoa, we really, really love each other. I agree. Cause it was every single day and we're both like people who like- Need our space. We need our space. We need our alone time. We need our quiet time. So like, even when we were dating, it was just like, all right, I'm going to do this. And he would just like, leave me alone and vice versa. Like he was going to do, so do something and I would be like, all right, giving you your time. But when we were in the house together, it was like, whoa, this been this many days and I and still we're, like it. Yeah, like we ain't knock each other's head off. We so, survived and you know, like I said, we, we like our space, but we know how to make it work. And you see what happened. Period. Okay, so right now the next instruction is to, in a bowl, whisk together the fig or sour cherry spread, half the vinegar and a half, a fourth a cup of water. So I'm gonna get, we have a fourth a cup of this thingy. I'm gonna get water. I think a memory that obviously everyone remembers is the wedding. <laughs> Are you done? Um, I don't know. I feel like we've just done so much in this house to where like, I'm so looking forward to the next house, but I'm also like so grateful for this house for what it's brought us. We've had our wedding here. We've had our baby shower here. We almost had our baby in the house. Ain't there a dude? She yeah. was she was right there, but we had to make the move. Um, I don't know. I feel like the pandemic kind of forced that though, because for one, we weren't gonna have a wedding at all. Neither of us wanted any form of a wedding. Um, we just wanted to go to the courthouse and just keep it moving. But Actually, I think the pandemic like made us like we should embrace our family and you know have them be a part of it because things do not last you know what i mean like anything could happen we want them to be a part of this happy moment the people closest to us so it kind of made us really appreciate that um so we had something which kind of just incorporated the house and made us we told Allie and Shay, can you just get some balloons and some flowers and you know, yeah. we'll just do something small. And y'all can see what happened, so. And you all remember <laughs> everything that was here and what happened, but honestly, it all worked out so well. We're so happy that they did what they did because we literally would have been at the courthouse like, wanna get married? Sweats. You wanna get married? Yep. My and night can take. Just in it. So, 
Um, that, and then of course our shower was here, which we weren't gonna have a shower either. Um, and we had the reveal here. We had the reveal here, but it was just us. I mean, but still, that still counts. It it's still a counts. Big deal. Yeah. When we figured out little harp was coming. Yep. That's half. Hold on, I'm still. I'm measuring in my head, guys. Okay, yeah. that's half. What are you looking forward to most for the new house? Making more memories. But really, the big thing for me, are we talking about memories or just looking for whatever? In general, like what are you looking forward to? Just baby? getting settled. I do not like moving. I love the fact that we are moving, but the process of moving. So, I know she's looking forward to me saying this. <laughs> so yes, we move in a few days. Literally, three days. Three days, fine. Well, okay, yeah. Three days. Haven't really started packing. Physically, mentally, I know where I want all of my clothes to be in what particular box. So really, I can just go in there, back, 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 back. So technically, so I So how long is it gonna take you? It won't take me more than a day. I mean, I'll say a day just to make it easy, but it'll be like a few hours, honestly, so. So what he's saying is, is that he has yet to pack anything. What I'm saying is I prepare differently Thank than you, others may. <laughs> Others. Others, you know, but <laughs> can I, can I Thank you, baby. Thank you for agreeing with me. But Mommy. we will see. She'll let y'all know that, oh, okay, yeah, he may have took all this time to start packing, but he was ready for the move. We'll see. I'll give you guys an update in the next vlog. Harper just threw up all over Shay. I feel take a break. it. Yeah, the, it was like a waterfall. Okay, so while my husband finishes sauteing, which is pretty much done, the kale, I'm going to season the chicken. So it says to add salt and pepper. You know us. We're gonna add a little garlic salt, a little season all. And salt and pepper. <laughs> okay, so I think for me, what I'm looking most forward to is like building a life together in a new home. Um, I absolutely love the house that we're in. Like, it is amazing. It has been the source of so many memories for us. Um, but I think for me, like, this was like Corey's home. You know what I mean? Like, he bought it. For himself, he thought it was going to be a bachelor pad, and I brought that to a halt. Um, but it wasn't like something that we picked together, that we, you know, searched for, and like really set the foundation for our family. So the fact that like, when we built the home, we wrote scriptures on, you know, the foundation, and like looked for it together, and picked how we wanted it to make sense for our family, like meant so much, like more than I even thought it would. So I think for this house, it's like we literally are building this home, building the foundation, you know, starting it how we want to, you know, start it and whatever based off of us. So like literally the future is up to us and God. Um, so I'm just really excited to like see like how everything unfolds. I'm excited for us to like pan, pan it out and plot it out together. Um, because like I said, like I literally brought my apartment and dumped it in here. And we have like, it was almost like a clash of our two worlds and our two decorations and our two preferences and everything together. You have paintings and stuff in here that I would not, and carpets and stuff that I would not pick. But they are nice, just to let you know. <laughs> Please. Your paintings are beautiful, okay? Anyways. <laughs> I get to decorate the new house with his input um but yeah i'm really excited for that i'm really excited to grow our family and for harp to come up in this house and like this is the house that she was raised in and all that and future kids to come if that's what god you know decides please, um lord. please lord um but yeah i'm really excited for that and really to just for us to just have more memories there and for things to just happen 
I don't know. I'm just excited for life to start. Stop. You have You're gonna make me cry. Are you done? No. Um. But yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that and for us to be able to like make a home a home. Because yes, we built a house, but it's up to us to really make it our home. Sound like Luther Vandross. You know, I'm one with the words. But yeah, and to see Harp, you know, start walking and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, I'm just really excited for all of that. So these final meals from Blue Apron will be our last. Um, really after today we are packing up a lot of the stuff in the kitchen so anything we use or eat will be from blue apron because Everything we won't have our own ingredient ingredients we will be using strictly what they send so really excited for that but anyways let's get back into the meal Okay guys, so you guys know that we are new parents, so dad had to go attend to Harp and make sure she was okay. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said before, Blue Apron meals are absolutely incredible. We have been using them for months on months now. You guys have seen me post about them. Um, they provide options for sheet pan meals or oven baked meals. Extremely easy. It's actually National Stress Awareness Month. Um, so it's great for just a stress-free cooking experience without having to shop, without having to go to the store in this pandemic and all the funky stuff going on. Um, it comes straight to your doorstep. You guys can use my code to grab your first box of meals. Um, and let me know if you guys try them, feel free to DM me or comment here, anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you are subscribed on Instagram. Make sure you are subscribed on YouTube. <laughs> Following on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. I love you guys. Peace out.